Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benuni. You're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, we are getting back in the, the swing of things here to get our live stream once again going. We've just about got the uh, newsroom reset back up again, so uh, that should be up and running here in the next few days. But anyhow, just want to give you a quick brief here. There's a couple of things going on that, uh, that are certainly showing uh, some major concerns here for us, and that is one, uh, violence is breaking out once again in the United States. In Ferguson, uh, and I'm sure many of you guys are already aware of this with U.S. News, uh, St. Louis County declares state of an emergency for Ferguson County. This again after another uh, uh, shooting took place there. Authorities declared a state of emergency in Ferguson, Missouri. This is on AOL News. Uh, after gunfire erupted the anniversary of a high-profile police shooting and prosecutors on Monday charged an 18-year-old man with assault on officers. The man, Tyrone Harris, was critically wounded in exchange of gunfire with police on Sunday night as people marked the shooting death one year ago of an unarmed black man, Michael Brown, by a white officer in Ferguson, a suburb of St. Louis. Police said Harris was being treated in the hospital they said that uh, St. Louis County prosecutors charged Harris, whose bond was set at $250,000 uh, on, on four counts, including assault on law enforcement and shooting at a motor vehicle. The violence, which also included a drive-by shooting and police being pelted with objects, prompted St. Louis County to declare a state of emergency. Uh, photos, uh, they've got several photos here that, that, have, that are, they're showing. And... Uh, and it definitely is getting bad in the United States. And of course, this could easily spread. It reminds me of a uh, uh, sister, I forget her name right off the top of my head there, but a precious sister there that uh, had, the Lord had showed her these riots and things that would break out in the United States uh, uh, that would begin here at the end of this year and continue into next year, even escalating to the point where Barack Obama would actually have to declare martial law and postpone the elections for the for the uh, presidential election of 2016. Anyway, it goes on to say in this article here, James Cartanel holds an American flag while protesting in Oakland, California on Monday, November 24th, uh, 2014, after the announcement that a grand jury uh, decided to indict Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson in the fatal shooting of Michael Brown. An unarmed 18-year-old, several thousand protesters marched throughout Oakland with some sh uh, shutting down freeways, looting, burning garbage, and smashing windows. This was was, uh, that was something that had gone on before. In light of last night's violence and unrest in the city of Ferguson, the potential for harm to persons and property, I am exercising my authority as county executive to issue a state of emergency, effective immediately, County Executive uh, Steve Stinger said in a statement on a day of civil disobedience calls called by activists in Missouri on Monday. Several people were arrested after jumping barricades in courthouses in St. Louis. News video reports showed. Clergy and civil rights uh, groups led the rally. Uh, more than 100 people through city streets shouting, this is what democracy looks like, a black uh, and black lives matter. I certainly agree. Black lives do matter. And, uh, but my concern is, is that this uh, is just going to escalate out of control. And the civil rights activists that are in, in the clergy that are being involved in this, I'm afraid, is, this is not going to become a peaceful end. And uh, unfortunately, it seems to me that the Obama administration would love to see this in order to have an excuse to disarm the United States according to the UN mandate that's being required of them. Uh, elsewhere in the world, uh, things are still uh, definitely unsettled in Ukraine. Fighting continues. The battles are definitely intensifying. Uh, I can only see that in the very near future, Russia is probably definitely going to end up getting majorly involved in this conflict in order to protect the Russian-speaking people there in East Ukraine. If not, there's going to be a total genocide of this population. Uh, in the latest exchange of fighting there, according to TASS News, seven Ukrainian servicemen were killed in an attempt, attempted offensive on the DPR territory. Um, they, they say here that, uh, in, in this article here, 
On uh, August the 10th, Ukraine servicemen were killed in an attempt to break through the line of engagement with the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic. The DPR Defense Ministry spokesman uh, Edward uh, Bussarin said on Monday, he told the Donetsk news agency that the Ukraine side had lost two tanks, uh, one armored infantry carrier and an anti-tank anti guided missile system. Seven Ukrainian servicemen had been killed and 11 more wounded, Bussarin said. Uh, it's kind of interesting because we do know that there's been reports already that there are U.S. Uh, American soldiers involved in some of these conflicts. Uh, I'd be kind of curious to see when we might get a sneak report of injured Americans in these conflicts here. Anyway, he said the Ukrainian attempt offensive had been staged near the settlement of uh, Belaya, uh, Kaminka, and on Monday morning, the offensive was preceded by intense tank mortar and artillery shelling of the settlement of uh, Petrovsky and Novaya La uh, Laspa and Belia Kaminka. The DPR self-defense forces repelled the offensive forces, Ukraine, Ukrainian troops to retreat to their initial positions. Now, there again, even from the reports that we're seeing here, it is Ukraine that is the aggressive ones here. The Minsk agreements have totally been thrown out the door. Uh, they do not care about it. The, the president of Ukraine at this point here clearly uh, bent on taking back eastern Ukraine and as well wants to take Crimea, but if he can't if he can't conquer East Ukraine, he's definitely not going to conquer Crimea because Crimea right now is under Russian control uh, and they have actually gone back to the uh, Russian motherland. So it would be a disaster for the Ukrainians to get involved in that war there. Not to mention it would draw NATO, the United States and other their allies, which would only turn into a nuclear war uh, without a doubt. You know, it just kind of reminds me of... Um, Recently, when I was reading in the Essene Gospel there, uh, Yeshua actually says, and let me just see here if I'm, I may have that handy here where I can kind of share this with you, because uh, to me it's very prophetic. Let me just say it like that there. I know there's, there's different opinions as far as this particular uh, book here, but let me just, let's just quickly take a look at this. Uh, because I do believe that it is certainly prophecy being fulfilled, and I want to share that with you here. Uh, and this is under the section called Yeshua gives a sign of the end of wickedness. Um, he says here, take, uh, uh, take warning that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ and the truth. Follow me, be, uh, excuse me, and the and follow me and be saved, but great shall be the number of the false prophets that will deceive. Yea, many will take up the holy name in vain and misuse the meaning thereof and cause great confusion among the people and mislead many. For many things shall take place upon the earth uh, that hath not taken place before, nay, or seen by any generation except those of that generation. Uh, and here's the part I wanted to bring out to your attention here. Uh, it says, for he says here, and this is Yeshua being quoted here, for you shall hear of great wars and also much talk of war, and many will be threatened with destruction. Now, what's interesting here, this is kind of like what we see in Matthew's 24 gospel here, wars and rumors of war, but uh, this is what was interesting to me is the way it was worded here in the Essene. It says, and many will be threatened with destruction, but be you not troubled, for many things must come to pass, yet before the end of all evil things. And in those days, the last before the great rest, those that have power shall gather to themselves in greed the lands of the riches of the earth for their own lust, and thus shall oppress the greater number who have not. Uh, for in those days the many shall be held in bondage, but yet not in prison, and they shall be used to increase the riches of the greedy. Yea, even the innocent beast of the field shall be greatly oppressed, for every cruelty and lust shall be worked against my innocent brothers and sisters of the great household of God. For many shall lust after the taste of flesh, and blood shall flow freely as high as the bridle of the horse." And I tell you one thing, we are certainly living in the day of the wars, rumors of wars. And as he pointed out here, Yeshua points out here that many will, 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 will threaten total destruction, such as Iran threatening Israel and the United States. 
uh, Russia and the United States going back and forth with their own rhetoric right now. And then we find out that not only will the people be in prison, but not in a physical prison, uh, but will be imprisoned in order to be able to take the greed for the lands. Like we see Ukraine is another greed for the land. This is going on. Of course, the Vatican wants NATO involved in this. Uh, again, Pope Francis fulfilling biblical prophecy here. And, uh, and yet at the same time, what's really interesting, he says the cruelty to animals that would be so bad. Um, and let me just kind of catch that one more right there at the end there because that's, that's important as well. In fact, we were just, uh, you should see this on your screen here. We were looking at a video the other day of the different types, ways of slaughtering of the animals. You know, we forget that when God created them, he said it was good. Do you realize that they were given a soul just as we have a soul? There is a spiritual side to the animal like it is with the human being. Yeshua says this as well, that you cannot have that natural without having a spiritual side. And in Genesis chapter 1, verse 24, you have on there living creatures translated in English. But in Hebrew, it actually says nefesh chai, which is a living soul. And that chai is the life of God himself that he gave to these animals here. He created them. He said it was good. When we go back to the millennium, there'll be no killing there. Many times it's condemned in the Bible. And, uh, but, but anyway, this one thing that I thought was so interesting right here was he says... Um, that for in those days many shall be held in bondage. Again, yea, even the innocent beast of the field shall be greatly oppressed because of the slaughter here. And for every cruelty and lust shall be worked against my innocent brothers and sisters of the great household of God. For many shall lust after the taste of flesh and blood shall flow freely as high as the bridle of the horse. Look at what you're seeing on your screen now. It is, it is a total outcry and a shame. When I saw this myself, my heart was sunk and I just, my soul so torn apart, you know, because we, we daily, the people, you know, and I was a meat eater all my life, not even knowing myself, but when I saw this type of cruelty and then read the words that have been hidden from our own eyes, it just troubled my soul. Anyway, a lot of very serious things happening in the world today and, um, uh, we, we're seeing all kind of unrest all over the world. Biblical prophecy is definitely being fulfilled. And uh, I just encourage you to be in prayer and, and seeking God uh, with all your heart. And, and by the way, let me just say this because I quote here from the Essene. Remember, in Matthew chapter 12, uh, Yeshua is actually stated in there as saying, If you knew what this meaneth, I would have mercy, not sacrifice. You would have not have condemned the. Uh, you would have not have condemned the the innocent or the guiltless. I believe how it said. I'm just paraphrasing that. In the Hebrew version of Matthew, there he says you would not have bound the innocent, and that's in the masculine plural, plural in Hebrew, which tells us as Jewish people, it was over and over and over. There was a binding continually of males that were being bound, which was the sacrifices being done there in the temple. Uh, remember, Jeremiah sa states in there in chapter 7, verse 22, that God had, you know, that, that God never ordained the sacrificial service when he called you, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt, which we find attested to according to Deuteronomy chapter 5, 6, and 7. So think about it. Uh, very serious times that we're living in. And uh, do something kind for animals today. God bless you and shalom. Good evening.